I am craving the biggest plate of fully loaded nachos. Oof, I'm talking meaty, cheesy, all the toppings, but let's make them plant-based. I'm gonna be using impossible beef made from plants. You're not gonna believe how good this is. It's one of my most favorite comforting, craving foods that I could have. I even had it in lieu of a birthday cake one year, a plate of nachos, because it's my fave. Okay, so let's get to cooking them. Seven. <laughs> All right, so first let's start with chopping the veggies so we have those ready to go. I'm gonna start by chopping a Roma tomato. I like to use Roma tomatoes because they're less juicy than other types of tomatoes and you don't want your nachos to get all soggy and gross. Some red onion, I like to use it because it's colorful and a little bit sweeter than other types of onions. You can also use green onions if you prefer. A little jalapeno for some spice. Some fresh cilantro. And then I'm gonna make a really simple guacamole just with some avocado and squeeze the lime. <laughs> My juggling skills, they're not. Now that our veggies are all prepped, let's make our very simple nacho cheese. This cheese is really simple and quick to make. All you're gonna need is some raw cashews. If you do not have a high power blender, then you'll wanna make sure to soak these or boil them first. This one's pretty strong, so we're good to go. Plant-based milk, nutritional yeast, tapioca starch, and vinegar. Smoked paprika, salt, garlic powder, and turmeric for a little bit of color. Mm. Now we just add our nacho sauce to the pan and cook it for a little bit until it becomes thick and gooey and ooey and nachoey and cheesy. <laughs> Now just pour your nacho cheese mixture into your pan and put over medium-high heat. Continue to give it a stir while it cooks. It's gonna start to form lumps and kind of get gooey and ooey and eventually they'll all come together into this amazing gooey cheese sauce. It's really delicious. Okay, I'm gonna set this cheese aside. Now on to the best part of the nachos, impossible beef. <laughs> to Impossible for sponsoring this video. We're gonna be using this Impossible beef, which is meat, but made from plants, to make these nachos epically delicious and hearty and satisfying. Ooh, so good. <laughs> Turn on your skillet to a high heat, add a little bit of oil. To the Impossible beef, I'm gonna add some spices to get those nacho -y vibes. I have chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, a little bit of cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Sprinkle that in and give it a mix. Just like beef from animals, you'll know when impossible beef is done, when it loses all the red color and it's just nice and golden brown. Let's remove this from the heat now and we're ready to assemble our nachos. Yes. I like to layer my nachos so there's yumminess all the way through. Sprinkle over that impossible meat and the ooey gooey cheese. Look how epic and meaty cheesy that is. Now before we put on the fresh toppings, I like to pop it in the oven for a few minutes to heat it through, and then we garnish and enjoy. Five minutes later. Nachos are hot and crispy and ready to go. The cheese is ooey, the meat is meaty. Let's top it off. I'm gonna add my diced tomatoes now. A little bit of red onion, some jalapeno slices, some black olive slices, a little cilantro, and I like to top it off with just a little bit of plant-based sour cream or plant-based yogurt just for some pizzazz. Oop. <laughs> yeah! So beautiful. There we go, my epic, loaded, plant-based, impossible nachos. Mm. Well, let's dive in. Mm. That is so amazing. Super meaty, super cheesy. You would never believe this is plant-based. That's why I love impossible beef so much. Just swap it in for any of your old favorite beef recipes. Super easy to do, tastes perfect, cooks up exactly the same. It is my favorite, it is a go-to. Thank you so much to Impossible Foods for making the impossible possible. I mean, this is amazing. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, let me know by leaving a like. Drop a comment down below which plant-based recipe I should make next, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bon appetit, <laughs>